Let's use an analogy. Each of you has been imbued a brand new, shiny, fire, cherry red Corvette C8. It's your job to keep that fire cherry red Corvette C8 in tip-top working order, lest it become a jalopy. So there are eight separate subcellular pathologies that are going on inside your body that are very analogous to what would be going on inside that Corvette as it decompensates over time. And here they are. Number one, glycation. Glycation is the uh, binding of glucose to proteins and rendering them less effective. This would be like carbon deposits on your intake manifolds. You would never let those build up. You would clean them off. Number two, rusting. Okay? That is reactive oxygen species, oxidative stress. And that can be rusting of the chassis and rusting of the body. And both happen to you as well. Number three, mitochondrial dysfunction. That would be like having a defective transmission so that when you step on the pedal, you actually don't engage the clutch. Number four, insulin resistance. That would be like having a defective carburetor so that when you step on the gas and go vroom vroom, instead you go putt putt. Number five, membrane stability. This would be like having a rotted fuel line. Number six, inflammation. That would be like that rod of fuel line causing a fire underneath the hood of the car. Number seven, methylation. This is deposits that would stick to your spark plugs. So instead of having a V8, you're really driving a V2. And finally, autophagy. And that's the recycling of bad stuff that develops over time that you have to get rid of. That would be like not getting rid of your oil sludge. Now, if you were taking care of that fire cherry red Corvette C8, you would never let those eight things happen. Well, the goal is to not let those eight things happen to your body. And the question is, how can you prevent that? How can you fix it once it's happened?